Here we have the Muse EQ or the Musek. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do some AB comparisons. So I've had this a couple of years now, but the first thing I did when I received it was I did do the test and I was very impressed. So I'm going to run some audio through this and through the plugin. Um, I'm going to match the gains and we're basically going to see if the hardware and the software are in any way comparable. So there we have AB comparisons, plug-in versus hardware. And I'll be honest, minimal difference, minimal. And I think if we are all honest listening to those AB comparisons, there ain't a massive amount of difference. There's a little bit of difference, but it's not, it's not a huge. I mean, you can pick this this as a plugin up for $29 in a sale on Plugin Alliance. Or you can pick this up for £4,000. And it's, I mean, I'm not even going to, it's over a hundred times. Um, there's, there's not massive, massive amounts of difference there. And I'm very, very surprised at that. And I'm also very annoyed and I'm also very frustrated, but I'm also very pleased because this is my plugin of choice when it comes to EQs because it sounds great as an EQ. Now, is it that the hardware isn't great? Or is it that the plugin's great? Of course, it's the plugin that's great. The plugin is an incredible emulation of this. And that's what, what we can take from this, is that if you are going to go out there and buy a plugin, like, buy, buy the Muse EQ plugin, because if you want an EQ that sounds like hardware, 
you ain't getting much closer than what we've just heard there. And that's that's me being honest. And that's me being someone that spent 4K on this a um, couple of years ago and compared the today and just kind of gone, ah, okay, the plugin is actually just as good. I'd say there's not even five, like 5% 5 differences. There's a little bit more definition in the low end. This this actually is a very positive thing. I'm going to take a lot of positives from this video because it's a positive thing for me that when I mix, I can use this plugin knowing that it's it's pretty much just like me having a huge rack of these. And it is. It honestly is. I mean, go back and listen to the uh, audio demos and I think you'll agree. Um, but when it comes to mastering, put this into a mastering chain, this is gonna bring a little bit to a mastering chain that the plugin wouldn't just because of where it might sit in the mastering chain. I'm trying to defend it now. Damn it. Interesting video though. <laughs>